common tape. Okay, this is a hive two. This is on a brood and a half, stacked together with propolis. I've just checked the queen excluder and I'm chucking the top one on top, on top of the upside down queen excluder to keep the queen in. Looking at the top, we've got a bit of comb here. We'll smoke them down, but you can see most of the bees are in this area. We've ripped open some larvae there. That's a big old bee there, isn't it? There's your first drone, so let's pop some open. See the drone here? Yeah. And the rest, this is a worker, there's a drone. So let's pop these first one out. This I would expect, no queen, but I'm going to have a quick look. There's no food, it's light as a feather. Personally, I'd place that over the top. Keep them in. Nice and steady here. There's nectar on this side. No queen visible. Spin around. This side they're drawing out. So I'll pop that back in and push it up against the edge. I'm going to pop this one out quick. You can see there's a bit of free comb on the top, nice and steady as I go. Lots of pollen coming in. I can see bees with pollen on their legs. Again, net to that side. So we've got two of food, and that's mostly food that side. Have you got a picture of the food, or we'll just carry on with the video? Otherwise well, I'm not going to shake them off till I know where the, that yeah. we've got a safe queen. I will come back and do that brace comb. I'm going to be gentle because I don't want to kill any bees if I can help it. Here we go. I've got a queen this side. I oh know it's a marked drone, I think. Someone's been in here marking drones. Does that look marked to you? That drone looked slightly blue, but I'm misseeing it. Must be the light. Don't put <laughs> that on. Don't put that on. Okay, nothing visible there, and I think again, there's an, in the bottom of these are, are larvae, they're nice C shaped, segmented. I don't know if you can see if I just clear some bees out the way in here, look, in these cells. Right. Can you see? Just need to get. Yeah. Okay. I'll put that back in. Careful not to squash bees. Give them a chance to move out of the way. Okay, I'm going to pop this one out. Um, right, we're into brood proper this side, certainly. Can I come around this side? Because the light's better, I think, isn't it? Can you see? So yeah. lots of sealed brood there. If you're having a good look, I'll try and hold it steady. This is worker brood. These bigger ones here is drone brood. Okay, I'm also looking for the condition of the bees, see if we've got any varroa mites visible or any deformed wing virus, anything that would give us a hint that we've got a varroa problem. But looking at the board earlier, I think we're fairly okay. It wasn't crawling, mostly with propolis, disguised as varroa. That's cool, that looks good. And give them a chance to move out the way. Again, lovely brood pattern. I'm having a quick scan around, see if I can see the queen. There's a few drones crawling around on there. I would be looking more for the queen when I start to see eggs. It looks like she's been here a few, maybe a few days ago. Again, drone brood there, there's a few drones. 
So you can see there's a drone there and a drone there. I'll tell you what it is, when the light catches their wings, I think they're so young yeah. that you get a shimmer of blue light petrol off them. See all the pollen on the back of this bee here, look. Are you videoing them? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Looking good. I'm going to cut that. I've probably missed a few bits, but I'm going to cut that. Um, through. Will you smoke her off? No, I'm trying to be quick and gentle so that we don't cool this down and upset them. Come on, move. Come on. Again, if I can do this without killing bees and they're not going to get stressed because it only is on instant space. Thanks, this free came, I'll just take this away because uh, it ma oops, sorry, Grant. It makes the next inspection easier. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I know there's larvae in here, but we're not going to ponce around. We need this out of the way. There we go. Okay, so that's a bit cleaner. Ready for the next one. This one back on board, bearing in mind it's on the Queen Excluder, so I'm looking on there quickly. Ready to go. We'll go on at a slight angle and twist it in so I don't kill any bees. Just having a look here, see if the Queen's there. She's not there. So she might be up in this box, but chances are she would have run from the light and she'd be down in the bottom box. Now this is just food. Empty one side, bit of neck to the other. Trying to be gentle here. This one's heavy with capped food. This is capped honey. Rather than sealed brood, it's shallower, biscuit coloured ish. There's the nectar that they're preparing. I'll pop that along. I'm going to whiz through here looking for the queen. That's just stores. I can see that. Stores. I think we, we'll see how far we get, but yeah, it might need a new, another super on here. There's brood, we're into brood now. You can see the shape of the brood. So there's the nest, there's the food. And that little gap in between is the pollen, pollen barrier. There you are, that's clearly visible that side. And we've got drone, workers, brood, pollen barrier, food. Nice pattern. See, this is the one that I thought was marked, but it's the blue in the wings. Looks like petrol. I thought someone had been there. But this queen last season was notoriously good at hiding. Didn't want to be found. There she is. Mark Green, see her? Yeah. Can you point to her with your... Yeah. Got her? Yeah. Okay, let's pop her back in. That's good to see. She's in good condition, nice big brood, nice strong colony. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to quickly go through these last ones, quick as I can. I'll shake these off now because I know the queen's not on there. And we can have a look. You can see the nice pearly white larvae, C-shaped in the bottom. In here are eggs. So the larvae at different stages, eggs across here. So I don't know if you can pick that up. Yeah. Yep. Okay, that's what we're looking for. That's good. All looks in good condition. No particular signs of disease. No particular signs of varroa. Loads of nectar coming in. We're ready to put up loads of cap stores there. Shake them off. Yeah, we'll say take that one out. Give them more into later, won't it? What, into the top? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. 
It's going to show those other things that are on it now. Yeah. I'll shake them off and drop it, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And give them a couple of nice new ones down there. Superb. Even better. Give her loads of space. That's what she wants. That one can go in the top as well, Graham. That's a bit of food starting in there. Pop that one in there as well, next to each other, so she's got plenty of room. This is going to boost now. That's good, happy with that. Mm -hmm. a couple of the other side of the way. So there's room, these are empty. I'm happy with that. Yeah, Would you pop these well, in probably here? That, probably, that, probably that one that's sealed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's ready. That's given the queen a lot more space to lay, so save the bees having to do the work of moving this up. Remember, I put this down the wrong way up, so it goes back on that way. We're going to put, pop the super on. Yeah. So they won't have to move it now that the Queen's got her own space straight away. Cover board back on. We'll take that plastic rubbish away. The lid back on. Roof back on. And then right. the last look to check that it's all in order. Queen excluder on. All good. So good. to summarise, Hive 2 was on a brood and a half. So that's where the queen is, in there, in her nest in there. Now they were, because that's all the space that they had, they were filling this box up with nectar. So we've swapped some empty frames into this one and we've put all the nectar up into the top to the outside with the hope that they then have some space for stores. She's got some space to lay because we've seen her and she's active. And that's how it is. Ta-da!